my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you all of the blooms that I have right now for the month of February um, and for last month as well. The last time I did this video, I showed you a bunch of blooms that I had from the summer and like, I don't know, since I disappeared from YouTube, but I didn't even record a lot in between. So there was a lot of things that you guys didn't get to see. So I'm going to try to stay more current on what I have blooming, everything going on in the growth space and stuff. And um, now that we're headed into the fall, I have to start thinking about repotting. To be honest, I'm not, some of the things I have in semi-hydro, I wanna get them out of semi-hydro just because like my Vandas, for example, they're not doing super great. Some of my species in semi-hydro, they're not doing the best. Um, so in a way, I, I thought I would enjoy semi-hydro more than I currently do right now. I thought it would help me with watering. In some cases, it helps tremendously. So I have self-watering pots that work really well, especially those in like seven inch pots. I fill up the water reservoir and they tend to be good for like 10 days. In other cases, like I'll show you this one, which I'll highlight. This one, like the water lasts for one day. So it's like a little orchid. Perhaps I picked too small of a container to put this in. So. So what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start repotting these in the next month or so so you guys will see more repotting videos. Some of them I'm going to get out of semi-hydro. Um, some I'll keep. Um, cat the catlias are generally doing well, but I just find that some of them have died on me just randomly. Not all, all, not all of them. Some of them are thriving, but some of them have died on me, and I think they would have done better if they had wet dry cycles. Is the sort of thing where you really have to try for a while in your environment to see how it works. I was very excited about the grow method and now I'm kind of like, mm, do I like it? Do I not like it? Um, so I'm kind of on the fence about it. Anything that has like semi-hydro like holes in it, the water reservoir doesn't last very long so I have to water more. So I'm going to get the ones in like with the holes out of the setup. May try moving some of them into a um, into bark. I was recommended a kiwi bark from Sunset Valley Orchid, so I might give that a try. Um, but otherwise, I will probably, I will make a ton of videos. You guys will see. Anyway, enough of me blabbering on about how my, how I need to start repotting. Let's start taking a look at the blooms that I have for the month of January and February. So first up, we have the Potanera Barana Beauty Barana. This is a very beautiful hybrid. It's very easy to grow and it's quite compact. It blooms for me uh, maybe four times per year. So if you're new to growing orchids, this is one that I highly recommend for, for your collection. You will see this orchid in my monthly updates all the time just because it's so vigorous. It has a nice fragrance. It's kind of rosy. Eventually that fades a little bit and turns into a different fragrance that's not um, quite rosy. I don't know how to describe it, but it starts off as very rosy. It's really pretty. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the flowers. It's yellow and red, but with the fragrance and the amount of times that it blooms, I think it's worth it to give it a try in your collection. I always love seeing when this blooms, and this time it gave me um, blooms from two different uh, growths. This next one is the Phalaenopsis Isin Confettio. I definitely said that wrong. <laughs> but anyway, this one is a complex hybrid that I got from Hauserman Orchids maybe about two years ago. It usually gives me double spikes. It blooms um, maybe twice per year, I want to say. The minis tend to give me more blooms than the larger Phalaenopsis Orchids. No fragrance, just really cute. I, I like showing this one because the blooms last about... Um, a little over two months, almost three months. So it lasts quite a long time. The blooms are really cute and um, I, I really like them. This next orchid is lovely. It's one of my favorites. I show it all the time. This one is the Phalaenopsis Chang Gia Lady. And this is an orchid that I got from Hauserman Orchids. It is lovely. It um, The parent, the Sogo Kaluani, I think I definitely said that wrong. Um, I know someone with a parent and they said that it's highly fragrant and highly beautiful. What I love about this one is the fragrance. It smells like juicy fruit. It, it is very, very fruity. It's quite strong. You could smell it from a distance as well. 
it's one of those novelty fouls that you don't um the color is nice the fragrance is nice the petals are waxy so they last a pretty long time so it's one of my favorites i love having this in my collection it was gifted to me i know it came from hauserman orchid so hopefully they still have it in stock if you want to give it a try but this is really nice lots of spikes highly recommend it is so beautiful the next orchid that i have in bloom is the brassavola little stars this one is the yasuji takasaki version i got this from carmela orchids i actually had two brassavola little stars and i gave one away because i found that this one was more fragrant than the other one so i kept this one so the one from carmela orchids is quite nice it's been in bloom guys for about six weeks this started earlier in january and it's still going the fragrance is lovely it's kind of like a citrus type fragrance it only um, is fragrant at night um, it blooms for me once a year but it's got another spike going in another growth so i look forward for that one to continue but i love it very easy to care for really nice the fragrance is just so worth it even though it blooms once a year it's very easy to take care of very drought tolerant and i think it's a must have in your collection as i mentioned in my compact video compact orchids video rather but it's just so nice next we have the dendrobium a second love this is this was actually gifted to me as a cakey about a year and a half to two years ago from my friend teresa ruiz this came from her collection this is the first time it blooms for me i was surprised to see buds on it it's got a little pink detail on the um on the blooms it's really really cute it's slightly fragrant i wouldn't even know how to describe the way that it smells it's like kind of like not rosy i i don't even know what to say about the fragrance but hopefully next time it's even more fragrant it's still quite young it's very cute it's white with a little pink blush detail and we have one of the flowers that opened with a mutation um, so i know with time it'll improve but it's super cute in a tiny tiny little pot i think that's a two and a half inch pot so this one is blooming as a dendrobium nobili quite young next we have the dendrobium delicatum i got this as what i thought was a dendrobium kingianum and someone told me it looks like a dendrobium delicatum what I've learned is that this is a naturally occurring hybrid. So these grow in Australia. So they probably naturally mixed in the wild. It's really cute. Now this one is really fragrant. It smells like strong roses. It's really nice. If you guys come across it, highly recommend. Blooms a couple of times per year. Next, we have the Phalaenopsis Sara Lee ID. This one came from um, one of my friends, the Naughty Dryad. I will link his uh, channel down below. But this one is a beautiful uh, cross with the Phalaenopsis amboinensis. This is a very, very beautiful pink, very fragrant orchid. It's one of those that I don't know how to describe the fragrance too well because it's like something that I've never smelled before. But I'll say that it does not take after the Phalaenopsis amboinensis parent that one is as you guys know it kind of smells like uh like rubber so it's not my favorite <laughs> but it's really pretty the spikes are quite long they last a long time one of the flowers actually fell off uh, the other day and i put it in my hair it's just super super cute um i really like this one so I've, I've been enjoying growing it i've had it for about a year um and just look at the spotting on those flowers Next, we have the BLC Wine Leopard Qinghua. This is another reliable bloomer for me. This, this orchid is really, really fragrant. It smells very strong. It fills the room when it blooms. I love it. It also blooms for me several times per year. Well, maybe twice per year. I shouldn't say several times. Twice per year, I get blooms on it. It is a bifoliate cattleya, so the first time that I repotted it, it wasn't doing so well so i up potted it um, in this clay pot so it still has the medium that i used over two years ago so i need to repot it at some point this spring when it starts out growing the pot i'll be very careful with the roots and time it when it has a new growth but otherwise i love the the spotting on on this orchid the lip is very nice it's very velvety so it's a beautiful flower 
it smells amazing it's so strong um it's another one that i highly recommend though i'll say it's a little sensitive to repotting so keep that in mind moving on we have an unregistered hybrid that i've shown you guys this one's the brasso lalia richard mueller crossed with the cattleya mark jones i'm very impressed with this orchid because it is very young i received this as a seedling from my friend vin and i just love it it's the second time that it blooms for me it's got fragrance it's got the vigor from the richard mueller parent and if you look really closely it has some very beautiful spotting and i'm a sucker for spots now a lot of the richard mueller hybrids are yellow so this one is nice and that it's like a peachy pink color the lip is spotted as well, something else that it got from Richard Mueller. Mark Jones is also spotted, so this is nice. I'm definitely going to have to repot this. I think I'm going to move it to organic just because the um, water reservoir doesn't last long, but I'm very impressed with this, and I just love the vigor. I love the way the flower looks, and I can't wait to get it to be a larger specimen. Just look at those spots. Just beautiful. Anyway guys, I hope you liked this video. Let me know down in the comments below if any of them were your favorites. And I also wanna know if any of these that I have, you also have, and if they were blooming as well. So I have a couple of friends here in New York that we, um, we visit each other and we kinda of see like how our collection is doing and sometimes I find that our orchids are blooming at the same time. So my friend Ray, he has his Jiminy Cricket blooming, and mine is also blooming. Um, makes sense given that we have the same climate, but I'm curious if any of you guys have the same ones and if they're also blooming. Anyway, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.